Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to The Soulmonger Calls. Today we have to complete Area 275. The trick is that all the champions start and cannot be healed above 50% of their max health. Not really too worried about that part. The really scary part is that whenever a champion dies, their soul is sucked into the Soulmonger and they become unavailable for the remainder of the adventure. So if one of your key members dies, you kind of got to start over or adjust and uh, be on the struggle bus. So my strategy going in is to essentially use my B team first. Okay, bag of nails, Mr. Badass himself. Uh, standard start for me is to do formation or to do familiar click damage. This will get me through the first, let's say 110 levels based on my favor. Then I'm gonna transition into uh, click pots uh, per usual. I, this is what I've always done. Just, to, I mean, it's, it's also faster. So actually, I think in terms of speed, I will use uh, most of my care. Let's do that. Benwin's pretty good. I don't really care about Stokey. Um, Dia. Eh. Basically, who am I not gonna use? Oh, I'm not ready for that decision just yet. And then, oh gosh, I guess we'll, I guess we'll Delina main DPS and use a Daddyus. That sounds not terrible. And then Makos, of course. So we're going to be just using uh, our, our B team, like I said, uh, going for speed with Deacon. He's our only person who we don't want dying or we, we really can't have dying. I mean, Bruner's not too bad of a, a replacement, but that's my initial strat and we will see how it turns out later. I think, I think I'm also gonna do a barrow in because I want to use a uh, bird song for uh, the final part instead of relying on barrow in stacks to, to clear out the armored segmented. Although if this fails, I might swap to Benwin and this will be a crazy long video for me, but not really much on your part. Let's see how this turns out. So I, to progress and to see actually how far this can go, we'll be doing a uh, magic in the back setup. So once I get uncomfortable, I'm gonna swap out Deacon with uh, Bruno and put him here. But here we have Regis buffing the back line and reducing their resistances to magic. Uh, Minsk is doing undead. Everyone else is doing pretty standard stuff. And instead of Benwin, I opted to have a tank. So I'm, I'm using Grama because I think uh, she she buffs people's damage pretty well. And uh, I heard that actually Ashar is kind of respectable for damage. So we'll see if I'm able to do this just as is, but if not, we're not, we're not gonna sweat it too much. You know, uh, a moment of enlightenment or reflection happened. I'm gonna go with reflection actually. I don't know why I'm so scared of having someone die because apart from a few challenges, rarely anyone has, but the fact that it's permanent gives me a bit of anxiety. It's really all I have to say about that, but I, I was just like, huh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, who knows? I, you know what, I have faith in this formation. This formation is gonna go far and we're gonna do great things. Okay, a thought occurred. Something you might wanna do before the hard bit of a shot uh yeah so do that periodically that's just a general recommendation don't worry you'll have plenty of cash okay so my formation i'm starting to slowly implement the real formation because it's come clear it, it or it is clear that this dps is not gonna fly uh 200 acerac acerac what i don't know how to say his name um, needed E65. So this was fun, but we're gonna set up the real formation. All right, so here's my party with all the changes. Uh, the weekend buff definitely uh, put some things in other people's favors. So I'm focusing on birdsong DPS because, you know, getting past 250 Acerac is gonna be a little scary. Uh, I think, although we might be fine, I think we'll hit the cap. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm I'm mixing up my Acerax. I'm like, oh, I'm thinking of 300 Acerax instead of 250. But yeah, we got 83 or E83 DPS on Birdsong. And everyone else is pretty much just supporting her. I'll probably swap um, Deacon to 50% more just to, you know, carry us on through. Like, he's staying there, so there's there's no real harm. And I think is everything. The next stop should be once we get to 275. And and Birdsong goes down. Uh, yeah, she's she is Gonzo. So uh, plan change. I guess as a refresher, 250 Acerac needs uh, E79 damage. So like you know 77, 78 ish. That ballpark. Damn, that really hurts my feelings. Can't believe birds on die. Like, it's it's just this permanent reminder of death. Like, yeah, see this beam? Your main DPS died because of it. Loser. <laughs> okay, this is just this is just insulting. <laughs> it's permanently there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, well, the beam's still there. Uh, still perma-shaming me. What is this, the Tomb Guardian? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, this is the end, so... Uh, shit, alright. Well, I did it, that's what's important. We're gonna... We've, we've sealed the deal, we've locked it in. We're gonna continue. Go back. Uh-huh. Yep. Just keep... One second. Stand by for the needed damage. So the ghouls have E84. Basically E85. Wow, that was cool. And then the boss has one or two E87. There you go. How long did it take me to get here? Please don't freeze. Please don't freeze. Okay. Probably one of the scarier uh, variants down. Load off my shoulders. Two hours, 13 minutes. And I've clicked 130 distractions. The new distractions are actually kind of fun. Well, uh, I hope this was helpful and that you guys learned and you love me and you'll say hi next time or none of that. I don't care. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.